やつだな。Live from London, this is CNN Newsroom with Max Foster and Bianca Nobilo. Hello and a warm welcome to our viewers joining us in the United States and all around the world. I'm Bianca Nobilo. I'm Max Foster joining you live from London, just ahead on CNN Newsroom. The American people have spoken and proven once again that democracy is who we are. Votes are still being counted in the high profile U.S. Senate race. With neither candidate getting 50% of the vote, this Senate race is headed for a runoff. People know that we have honest and fair elections. It's as simple as that. Representation matters. They can be anything they want to be. Heavy rains, the potential for flash flooding, and three to five feet of storm surge. We are not going to come drag you out of your house. If you're in the evacuation zones and you don't leave, then it's your responsibility. It is Thursday, November the 10th, 9 a.m. here in London. It's 4 a.m. in Washington, where control of Congress is still up in the air, as votes are still being counted across several states. And here's where things stand right now Republicans are inching closer to control in the House of Representatives. 218 seats are needed for a majority. Democrats have won 191, compared with 209 for Republicans. 35 races have yet to be called. In the Senate, Democrats now hold 48 seats. Republicans have 49. They need to pick up two of the three remaining seats to get control. A Republican majority in either House of Congress will make President Biden's job a lot more difficult over the next two years, but he's breathing a little easier after the lackluster showing for the GOP.